Hello and welcome to the OWC instructional series of videos. In this installment, we'll be adding a second drive to an early 2011 17-inch MacBook Pro using the OWC Data Doubler. We've gathered our materials, shut down the MacBook Pro, and placed it on a soft, static-free work surface. We are now ready to begin. The first step is to close the MacBook Pro and flip it over. On the bottom are 10 Phillips screws. The three in the upper right are longer than the others, so remove those first. You can now remove the remaining seven screws, which are all the same size. When lifting the bottom cover off, there'll be some snaps holding it on, so you may have to gently pull a bit to free it. We'll need to remove the optical drive, which is located here. First though, we need to disconnect the battery connector. Use a nylon pry tool to gently lift the connector free from the logic board. Once it's disconnected, we can then safely remove the optical drive. Using your nylon pry tool, detach these two data cables. We'll need to remove three screws to extract the optical drive. The first screw we need to remove is located here. To get at it, gently detach this cable then remove the screw. To get at the second screw, we'll need to loosen this module first. Do this by removing this long Phillips screw and this shorter one. Once you've done that, gently pull the module back to reveal the second optical drive screw, which can then be removed. Finally, remove the last optical drive screw, which is located here along the outside edge of the MacBook Pro. You can now gently lift the optical drive out of the bay using your nylon pry tool if necessary. Be careful not to snag on any cables while pulling the drive out. We'll need to remove the SATA connector and the mounting bracket from the optical drive so that we can use them on the data doubler. You can remove the SATA connector by simply pulling it off. Then, remove the two Phillips screws holding the mounting bracket in place. You can now set the optical drive aside. We can install any standard or solid state 2.5 inch SATA hard drive in the data doubler. In this installation, we're using an OWC Mercury Extreme Pro SSD. Line up the SATA connector on the data doubler with the SATA connector on the drive you wish to install and slide the two together. Secure the drive to the data doubler at these two points using the two thicker screws that came with the data doubler. Next, place the mounting bracket in the same position as it was on the optical drive and attach it with the same two Phillips screws. Then. Line up the SATA connector on the data doubler with the connector on the cable and slide the two together. The data doubler is now ready to install. Carefully slide the data doubler into place, being sure no cables or tabs get pinched underneath. Reattach the two data cables by lining them up with their connectors on the motherboard and gently pushing them into place. Then, reattach the front outer corner of the data doubler with one of the small Phillips screws that came with it. Next, 
pull back the module to reattach this corner, also using one of the small Phillips screws that came with the data doubler. Once that's done, secure the module back into place. The longer screw goes in the left spot. while the smaller screw goes on the right. Finally, reattach the rear of the data doubler using one of the original drive screws. Then plug in the cable we had attached earlier. You may now reconnect the battery and put the bottom cover into place. Press down in these two spots to secure the two stamps. Finally, reinsert the bottom screws starting with the longer three in the upper right corner then the remaining seven screws. You may now flip your MacBook Pro over, open it up, and turn it on.